hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far uh, in our discussion related to material science and engineering in the previous videos we covered the various uh, introductory concepts and uh, about stress strain curve and the various features and concepts associated with it and we discussed various uh, points related to stress stress uh, stress strain curve in short okay we discussed it in short so in the next videos next uh, four or five videos we'll discuss the various uh, points on the stress strain curve in detail each characteristic feature in detail so this uh, these all characteristic features are associated with the properties the general properties of uh, materials for engineering applications so in this video we are going to discuss about tensile strength and ductility of materials okay so first is tensile strength so tensile strength is the maximum value of stress acting on the material under tensile test okay the maximum stress which the material can withstand without undergoing fracture okay fracture means the disintegration the point of disintegration of the material the, the stress value at which the material breaks down so the maximum value of stress which a material can withstand without undergoing fracture is called as the tensile strength okay it is the peak of the stress strain curve the peak point so the unit of tensile strength is mega pascal or pounds per square square inch psi so let us consider a stress strain curve okay here in the vertical axis the y axis we have the stress and in the horizontal axis the x axis we have the strain so this is the stress strain curve this point the peak of the stress strain curve this is the maximum value of the stress so if we draw a line parallel to the strain axis where it meets the stress axis that will give us the value of the tensile strength okay it is the peak value of stress in this stress strain curve and this cross this x it marks the point of fracture the point of disintegration of the material okay and uh, this the strain it indicates the elongation okay we know we discussed about stress and strain the basic definition strain is the change in length of the material with respect to the original length delta l by l so this indicates the elongation this if you draw a line parallel to the stress axis here this will indicate the strain undergone by the material similarly in this stress strain curve this is the peak point which indicates the tensile strength the peak point of the stress strain curve similarly here this is the peak point so all you have to do is identify the peak point of the stress strain curve draw a line from that point parallel to the strain axis and where it meets the stress axis that will give us the tensile strength similarly here this is the peak point this is the tensile strength now the tensile strength of some materials or metals that are commonly used for engineering applications are given here we have taken aluminium copper iron steel brass having values 90 200 262 380 380 and 300 respectively the unit is in mega pascal okay so this is about tensile strength now the next thing which is ductility so the basic the simple definition of 
ductility is the ability of the material to be elongated okay to be drawn into thin wires that is the simple definition but a more uh, uh, proper definition of it will be is that it is a measure of the degree of plastic deformation undergone by the material which is measured after the material undergoes fracture or after it breaks so the elongation it is expressed in terms of two parameters first is elongation and reduction in area so elongation is measured by joining the broken pieces of the material and determining the total length and reduction in area is measured by comparing the initial area with the final area so we know that uh, the because of the tensile test in the tensile test tensile uh, force acts on the material which tries to expand it to stretch it as a result of which the material expands and its length increases which is called as elongation and its cross sectional area decreases okay so the two parameters that are important for expressing ductility are elongation and reduction in area so elongation the mathematical expression of elongation is the final length the elongated length minus the initial length divided by the initial length into 100 the percentage of elongation and reduction in area the area will get reduced because of this expansion the stretching of the material under tensile force so the reduction in area is expressed as the initial area which is uh, comparatively larger as compared to the final area divided by the initial area into 100 that's why it is percentage of area reduction it is called okay so the how can we determine whether a material is ductile or not from the stress strain curve okay so see let us first take this stress strain curve for example now we are not talking about this tensile strength here the strain is measured at the point of fracture okay this x is the point of fracture where the material uh, disintegrates or breaks down so if we draw a line a vertical line parallel to the stress, as, uh, stress axis and the point where it touches the strain axis that the distance from the origin to this point in the strain axis that indicates how much the material has undergone elongation so the more the elongation it means more the ductility okay so the more the value on the strain axis indicates more the material is ductile okay higher ductility of the material so higher values of strain means higher ductility because the material has elongated to a a large extent it has undergone huge amount of elongation okay so this is a stress strain curve of a ductile material okay a material having good ductile ductility okay now the opposite of a ductile material is brittle okay brittle material now here this stress strain curve fracture occurs here fracture occurs here so if we draw a line a vertical line parallel to the stress uh, stress axis from this fracture point it touches the strain axis here now this indicates low values of strain from the origin up to this point this point here low values of strain okay 
Now low values of strain means low degree of elongation, low percentage of elongation and low percentage of elongation means the material has less ductile properties. Okay, it is brittle in nature. Okay, so in order to explain ductile and brittle nature, let us uh, try to understand it. This is a ductile material. It means it will undergo fracture after undergoing a large amount of elongation. See, this is a ductile material in its initial form. Now, when stress will be applied under tensile test, it will expand itself, it will stretch itself and it will undergo elongation. And then when this fracture point comes, this point after undergoing the amount of strain up to this point, it will finally undergo fracture. So here this material undergoes some amount of actually a good amount of elongation. But for a brittle material with the stress strain curve like this, this will undergo fracture at low values of elongation. Low values of strain means low value of elongation. So it will hardly undergo any expansion, any uh, elongation. See, this is the initial form and at some values of uh, stress, higher values of stress, it will undergo fracture with low values of strain. No elongation, almost no elongation at all. If we compare this with this, see, this has undergone some stretching, some elongation here. And finally, it undergoes fracture. But here, it undergoes hardly any elongation and then fracture occurs, it breaks down. So, the two important uh, points that we should take from this discussion is tensile strength is the peak point of the stress strain curve. Okay, the peak point, if we draw a horizontal line, and where it touches the, the stress axis that indicates the tensile strength and ductility is a measure of the degree of elongation okay the percentage of elongation by the material so the uh, more values of strain on the strain axis indicates a highly ductile material and low values of strain low values of strain indicates uh, brittle nature material having brittle nature so this is uh, what we can uh, say about the tensile strength and uh, ductile or brittle nature of materials okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much